The uh, view that you just saw was uh, from a monitor that is set up uh, in the cupola of the International Space Station, a reference point uh, for both Nyberg and Cassidy uh, to use. The HTV, you can see a strobe light on the body of uh, the vehicle. It, uh, unlike other cargo ships, does not have uh, deployable solar arrays. Uh, the solar panels are wrapped around the body of the HTV itself to provide electrical power for all of its systems. With its uh, 28 reaction control system jets behaving normally, the HTV-4 approaches at a rate of just one inch per second now inside 20 meters away. Outstanding views of uh, the orbital choreography being performed as the International Space Station and uh, HTV-4 are just 10 meters apart. The two craft are currently flying 260 miles over the South Atlantic. Uh, we've updated the capture clock to reflect a uh, predicted grapple time of about uh, 626 a.m. Central Time, just a few minutes ahead of the predicted grapple time. Nothing magic about that time with uh, as long as the lighting remains good for the crew on board uh, the International Space Station. station we're starting the approach copy the robotics officer here in mission control reports the arm in motion The International Space Station now in free drift. One meter away from capture. Latching end effector over the pin. Capture confirmed at 6.22 a.m. Central Time. Grapple confirmed. The International Space Station and HTV-4 flying 260 miles south of South Africa.